Oh hey, welcome to my first YouTube video. I've decided I'm gonna become a YouTuber and this is my channel. For 2024, I've decided I'm gonna start doing more of the things that I love and have always wanted to do. So this is me doing it. For this video, I'm gonna be documenting my progress of reading. I've set my Goodreads book goal to 12 books this year. I'm trending ahead of that. I've already read or almost have finished three books in January, so I'm going to tell you about those. And I've also documented my progress. And this is my cat. Sit for a second. This is my cat. His name is Mr. T. He'll be making appearances. <laughs> He's kind of angry today. Since I already read this book, I'm going to tell you about it. It's called Why Fish Don't Exist. It's by Lulu Miller. It's basically about a woman who makes a really big mistake. She feels like her life is over, so she starts to research a man named David Starr Jordan. He's a taxonomist, and she basically researches how he takes back his life's findings after everything gets destroyed in an earthquake. I'm not going to tell you the ending because it'll spoil it. This book is a three out of five stars for me. It was okay, but I wanted something really hard hitting. I searched all over Goodreads and like Reddit posts to find a really hard hitting book. It just didn't do it for me. It wasn't for me, but it might be hard hitting for you. That's all I have to say about it really. It was fine. second book it's called the flat share by beth o'leary the cover's super cute but i'm about 40 pages in on this one it's really good so far i'm really liking it but i'm gonna document my progress bye welcome back it's day five of reading the flat share here's my progress i'm on page 249 the book is getting so good well it's been good for a while but they're like finally met and like realized their feelings for each other they're not official but there's also a, like a little drama going on as well so like it's just so good it's such a wholesome book that it's made me excited to like read another book even though i'm not finished yet like you need to read it i'm really excited to finish it so i'll let you know when i do Okay, this is the book that I most recently read. It's called The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. It's about a woman who moves into a flat and shares a bed with a man, but she never meets him because he works night shifts, so she gets a flat during the night and he gets it during the day. It's kind of an unrealistic beginning, but this book is five stars for me. It's just so light and heartwarming and sometimes you just need an easy book and this was an easy but really good book there's like some aspects of like prison and a toxic ex-boyfriend but overall it's just like it's really good it's five stars you might not think it's five stars because i feel like you don't have to get like emotionally invested like i love them but it might not be the drama filled book that you're looking for. This is not that. This is light and happy and fun. And I loved every second of it. Five stars. And now you're caught up to where I am, but I've started I've started this book. It's called Sourdough by Robin Sloan. I'm not exactly sure what this book is about. I know there's aspects of like tech and sourdough. That's all I really know about it. I'm on page 36, so I really have a basic understanding of the book so far. It's a really like fast paced read, which I'm loving, and I'll update you when I get farther. <laughs> I think 
never got to review sourdough, so here we go. I'm gonna give it a 3.75 because I liked it, but I feel like the whole time I was like, what in the world is gonna happen? Obviously, it's like a mixture between like sourdough and robot, so like obviously I was like confused, but it was also like really enjoyable and I'm happy I read it and I would probably read it again, but it was just, it was light and fun and low stakes, nothing crazy happened. So I think a 3.75 is fitting. Um, hi, it's been a second since I've been on here. But I picked up my next book after I finished Sourdough. I got Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. It's about Clementine Ryder who gets in a horse riding accident. And so she moves back home and meets the like town bad boy. His name is Luke Brooks. I'm loving it so far. I'm on page 116. It's, it's super sweet. And even though he's like the town bad boy, like it's so lighthearted and like loving i'm having so much fun reading it so far i've slowed down because of school but i'm hoping to finish this before the end of january i don't think i'm going to finish this in january because i want to be able to edit this and upload it on february 1st so maybe i will finish it in the next two days who knows you'll see it in the next video and we'll figure out i have like 100 pages left so it won't take me that much longer, but I just, I'm going to cut it here. With that being said though, thanks for watching my first video. I had so much fun filming it and I'm going to do it again in February and I hope you follow along. Bye!